Here's my review of AOKP Milestone 6 on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. This is the GSM version. As you can see, mod under mod version, AOKP Magoro Milestone 6, 4.0.4 Galaxy Nexus. This is the GSM one. This isn't the Verizon LTE one. That's a Toro, in case you didn't know. Um, one thing that they've added in the last build, I think it was, it was either the last one or the next to last, was hardware info, where it shows you like the hardware of your phone. Let's go back. You have the normal ICS um, settings, accessibility, developer, date. Not really going to go through these because pretty sure you guys know what these are but you do get face to un unlock see face unlock let's go back um let's go up to ROM control because ROM control is the um, main feature of all the AOKP ROMs let's go to general UI you can disable the boot animation so if, if you want to speed up the boot time you can just turn off that um, you can disable the bug mailer in case you have, if you have bugs and you don't want to mail your bug list to AOKP, just check that. You can allow 180 degrees rotation, which is this, when you turn your phone upside down. Which with this phone, you can do that because the buttons also rotate. So, oops. that makes it easy to do that. You can change the density which the stock is 320 so you can put it in tablet mode or just make everything really small or really big the IME switcher is the keyboard switcher that shows up in the uh, in the notification drawer which is where you can have your toggles if I can hit it right I had it there. There we go. A little bug right there with the settings. Um, you can change the carrier label. So say you wanted to put something besides T-Mobile, like Brandon's. Brandon's Nexus. Hit OK. And when you pull down the. Sorry, I'm trying to look through the camera. It may have to reset because it still says T-Mobile, but you can also change the rotation de delay. Change it to less time. That way it doesn't take that long to uh, rotate. Um, th the navigation bar is those three buttons at the bottom, the back, home, and recent apps. Um, you can choose the menu location. Have it right, left, both, or remove. Menu visibility. You can always show it. Let's click always show. This doesn't need the menu, so but it's also up there. So I'll just choose default ICS. You, you can also change the color. Say you wanted to set it as ICS blue. Hit the color, and you can see that it matches the icons at the top. All right, and you you can also change the glow color. So you see how it glows blue when you press it. You can change the color of that also. So if you wanted to choose it, sorry, these colors are really bright. Um, you wanted to choose like a lime green. I don't know why you would want to choose lime green, but see, if you wanted to, you can. You can change the quantity. So if you wanted five, so you could have like search and menu. So let's go down. So you can have home, back, recent, search, menu, toggle widgets, kill app, power. You, you can even choose like a custom app. So if you're like me and you use Plume for Twitter a lot, you can put Plume down there. I'm just going to put menu. And I'm going to change the quantity to four. And also you can change it so when you long press on them, you can choose the transparency. So if you want them bright, you can have them like that. 
you can change the height you can change the width you can if you add a widget toggle you can add the new widgets lock screen you can choose a different lock screen wallpaper you can choose text color you can choose lock screen style right now it's just on honeycomb which is where there's the camera and then the un unlock it does a little wave or ripples kind of effect you can choose targets so you can have eight targets so you can assign custom apps and stuff you can have menu unlock way to lock screen you can show the percentage you can have the weather Just choose a weather panel um, I have to turn on the weather in the settings first though so I can't really show you that right now you can have calendar fast torch horizontal lock screen is when your phone's this way I don't know if you guys know what horizontal is or not some don't actually you can choose quick pin unlock so if you have a pin you don't have to hit enter show lock screen before unlock and you can choose the custom apps let's go back power menu power menu is when you press and hold power in case you didn't know show screenshot show torch and you can see so if you wanted to take a quick screenshot just, just bam you hit that and weather so you have to en enable location for that to get weather hit get weather show location metric unit star custom app refresh interval and then weather style this weather panel I guess and as you can see it's a weather panel if you choose a text like above carrier text you can see it right there 70, 72 degrees fair right above the T-Mobile you can have a weather panel um, power saver just not really going to go through those you can change the color of the LED you can choose how long it pulses on I'm going to leave it for one second to not go battery since the interval it blinks every nine seconds that's really long for me so I'm going to choose like four so every four seconds if I have a new gmail missed text missed call or something it'll blink you can also change the color so if you want like a full ICS theme you can even change that to match everything else you can even flash it while the screen is on let's go to general this, this ROM has a lot of tweaks by the way not really going to go through most of these but you can enable the brightness control when you slide your finger across see how it just it got kind of darker and actually you can see it better so I'm going to leave it like that you can reverse the layout have the toggles on the bottom um, show no notification account so if, if you have three new gmails it would have the little gmail icon and then a number three like the little small number three by it you can choose toggles you can choose the enable toggles so say you wanted it vibrate and torch hit close you, you can change the order if you want to so if you wanted GPS by Wi-Fi you want to rotate first hit back you can choose brightness location I choose don't show because I mean if you have the scene brightness where you drag your finger on the top and left you don't really need that you can change that and choose toggle style too Oops. so it's just that icon you don't really notice that till you go back to this one yeah see there you go and then that's just the icon instead of the text you can also reset toggles you can change the clock choose clock style let's do center clock see how the clock comes to the center have a small AM PM and this is my favorite where it shows the day of the week I think that's awesome because I never know what day of the week it is and I don't know what's wrong with my cat so if you're hearing that noise She's, she's free if you want her take her I don't really care um, you can change the battery icon so how it's just just a bar you can change it to text only 
You can change it to icon with text. Icon with center text, which is my favorite that I always use. Or circle mod. I like the circle mod actually, so I'm just going to keep that. It's got the percentage in the center. I would focus on it, but then you would have to see the blurriness as I try to refocus out back onto the phone itself. So sorry. Um, battery bar style. Make sure you center mirrored. Well, first of all, you got to show it, so let's do status bar. And it goes out depending on your battery. So you can choose the thickness of it, and you can also change the color. You can, have, you can have like a cool animation too as it charges. You can put text for your signal. I don't really do that because I don't really know a signal like that. So change. You can change the max CPU. So if you want to overclock it to 1480, you can. Hit allow. You can change the scaling governor to performance. You can set that at boot. You can even change the voltages. Don't really mess with those, but if you do, you know, you can enable you can enable fast charge. Um, it's got to start up tweaks. This always takes a minute to load. So also, by the way, I actually verified my account, and I, I can have videos longer than 15 minutes. Just figured I'd throw that out there. So you can enable SD card boost, so it makes your SD card faster. doesn't really work for the Galaxy Nexus because it's unlocked. I mean, it has the internal SD card. But if you have, like, an external and it's only, like, a class 4, you can m make it, like, as fast as a class 10. Um, Zipline APKs. Fix permissions, clear cache, enable, whatever that says, and enabled scheduled task, which is actually pretty useful. So let's hit back. If you download a theme off of the Play Store, well, they also give you a free theme. Like you can change the entire like framework of this ROM, change every color. Let's go back. Um. It comes with Nova Launcher and Trey Boucher. It comes with the usual G apps. I installed Google Wallet to make sure it worked. I installed Google Talk. No, I didn't install that. It actually came with it. I installed Play Music. So, see how that says unsupported device at the top? If you. Like all you have to do is use temp un unroot. I'm about to show you guys how to install this, so I'm gonna reset Google Wallet. So give it a second. I'm not sure why this is going to take so long. Um, but this also includes a few new wallpapers from Just Reboot. That's his Twitter username. So if you want to follow him on Twitter, that's his. It's at just un underscore reboot. That's his wallpaper, by the way. So if I go to AOKP, that's one of his. And also that's one of his. And they're really nice wallpapers. As you can see, this one, they're really good quality. I didn't actually show you guys the, the camera after that. So, I mean, it's usual ICS camera. Everything works as you would expect. So, let me show you guys how to install. I'm just... There's an easy way to do this. If you don't have it, go to the market real quick and download Goo Manager. Just go to the Play Store. I forgot it's called Play Store now. Wait for this to load. Just hit search. Search for Goo Manager. When this comes up, it's Goo Manager Beta. Just hit install. Just hit accept and download. This is the easiest way to install any kind of um, ROM at all allow when it ask you go to flash roms 
Make sure you have those. Now go to order and flash. Down here at the bottom. Make sure you choose both of these first. Then go to order and flash. See, so you, you want to choose milestone six first and then so they're in the right order. Wipe cache and wipe, da wipe data. Then just hit flash. Then just hit yes. And this does everything. This reboots into your recovery. It wipes data. Then it wipes the cache and then the Delvet cache. It installs Milestone 6. Then it installs G apps. Then it actually re reboots. Let me show you down here. It's, in it's installing the, the ROM itself. I mean, this is the easiest way out of any ROM. I mean, out of, like, to flash anything on the Galaxy Nexus and many other ROMs, too. So, as you can see, now it's installing the G apps at the bottom right here. My cat won't leave me alone right now. And now it's going to reboot. from under my chair right now. Sorry, I can't really get it focused. But this is the AOKP boot animation. Um, and then it's just gonna boot up and that's pretty much it. It'll just go through the stock setup and back into the ROM. Like as, um, you know, I just reviewed for you. So that was my review of AOKP Milestone 6 for the for the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, the GSM model, not the Verizon or Sprint.